purpose of Aiden's spiritual dedication and recognition as a child of God, and to acknowledge the incredible significance of this young life. We're also here to acknowledge and honor the family and loved ones, who as he grows into a young man, will take part in his growth, physical, intellectual, and spiritual. This ceremony and this day is our chance to formally welcome Aiden into this world and into our lives. Aiden, you are a child created in love, living in love in this moment, and it is our intention and the intention of every person here today that you know love is your way of life for as long as you are here on this earth. And now Michael's going to look at a reading of the baby blessing. Dearest Aiden, born of two hearts, you are grace, you are beauty, you are love beyond measure, and gift without price. We are gathered this day to introduce you to your great family and to bless you before the world, even as we have been blessed by birth. We offer you to the wind that you may embrace adventure and know the wonders of far off lands. We offer you to the sky that you may stare by the stars and never feel that you are far away from home. We offer you to the sun that warmth and light may surround you always and guide you safely on your way. We offer you to the moon that you may find comfort in darkness and never have cause to fear night. It is said that it takes a village to raise a child. And so at this time, we should take a moment to recognize the important people who will take part in the shaping and molding of Aiden's life. First, Aiden's grandparents, Peter and Sheila Harvey, and James and Priscilla Mason in England. The role played by grandparents is a very important one. It's the greatest blessing when they can have a significant part in their grandchildren's lives. In making these acknowledgments, we'd also like to take this time to acknowledge those loved ones who are unable to be with us physically on this day. We know that those people whom we love are here with us in spirit at this service of dedication for our precious Aiden. For his uncles and aunts in England and in the U.S. who are unable, unable to attend because of distance, may their distance only be physical, and may their love for this child bridge the miles between them. Today marks the beginning of an entirely new lifetime of happy memories for this family. Today is the day we officially give this child his name and honor in this place and his place in this world. And so it is fitting at this time that we take the next few moments in prayer for this very special little boy and this service. We're going to have Grandpa Pete come on up here and read his prayer. God of love and light, we thank you for blessing our lives with this new spirit, this perfect and pure embodiment of your greatest gift to us, love. We humbly ask you to unfold in your protection this little one. Receive Aiden into the arms of love and keep him ever in watchful care. Surround him with spiritual strength. Keep him safe and cared for, even when his earthly family cannot be near. Endow Aiden with strength and prepare him for the way ahead, so that he may be strong in faith, courageous in spirit, and valiant for the right. Be Aiden's companion in play, in sleep, in wakefulness, and in all his growing days. Be his friend most dear, to understand him, to console him, and to bless him. Amen. Amen. So now we have questions for the parents. Michael and Jasmine, will you as parents care for Aiden, mind, body, and spirit? We will. Will you keep him clothed, sheltered, and protect him? for as long as he needs you, the best that you can. Will you comfort Aiden when he is distressed and laugh with him when he is happy? We will. Will you 
you as parents try in every way possible to raise Aiden in such a way that he will feel loved and secure. We will. Michael and Jasmine, to whom have you given the honor and responsibility of being godparents to Aiden? Don and my three sisters. The 
Sandman says maybe he'll take you above Up where the girls fly on ribbons and bows Where babies float by just counting their toes Where babies float by just counting their toes Ooh.